Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you a trailer that just got, got in, just arrived. It's going to be a used 2016 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. Really neat setup on this trailer. You're not going to find many used ones set up with this front ramp right here, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it and see what it's all about. So right here, front tack door, you've got a four foot tack room. On that tack door, you've got the window, so get some airflow going through there. Get that sweaty, musty horse smell out of there if you got blankets in there or whatnot. Um, down below, you've got the brush box, and that brush box just keep all your stuff that you use, you know, consistently. Keep it handy right there, easy access to get to it. But stepping up in here, we do have the fold-up step on the side, so that. That helps big time instead of having to step all the way up into the tack room. You've got about, shoot, almost a foot of extra clearance to get up into here easier and just make everything easier. So coming up here in the tack room, you've just got your above the gooseneck, extra storage space, the two windows, one on each side. Once again, get that out and get, the, get those open airflow going. Right here, we do have a plexiglass holder. So that's a really nice place to be able to, you're able to put your plexiglass in the trailer, keep it with you, have it on you at all times. That way, when you are traveling somewhere and you need to adjust the airflow in the trailer, you're able to take out or put in the plexiglass that you have with you because of the awesome plexiglass holder. But over here, um, so we'll actually go right here, sorry. This is a clothes bar or a hanging bar, whatever you want to get on there. You need to dry something out. One way or another, you know, you're able to hang it up there. So this one just came in. We have yet to send it through a shop, so that's something we're going to do to it. Um, we'll get it through the shop, and we'll go over some of the stuff that we do here in a little bit when we put them through the shop. But these are adjustable, so it comes with three. So you do have a third one sitting right here, and that can easily be put on. And they are adjustable, so you can pick the height that you want on that, um, you know, the spacing between them. If you wanted to order some new ones from Cimarron and get, get a couple more of them, we can get you a couple more and we can just adjust them to move out of the way and, you know, make it however you need it to be. So rubber floor mat in on the floor here. So I like the rubber floor mat, just easier to clean out. You're not getting that um, horse hair and your shavings and all of that caught in the carpet. So rubber floor mats, awesome. And then over here on the partition wall, we do have some bridle hooks with the carpet below it. That carpet's just gonna help alleviate any kind of swaying and swishing that the bridles are gonna do while you're traveling. And it's gonna help keep the trailer good and keep your um, bridles good as well. This one does have a very bright LED light right above the door as you walk in. And then you'll notice in the ceiling there, um, or the roof, we've got a cutout for an AC unit. So if that's something you wanted to eventually add to this trailer, it's already braced for one up there. So Cimarron trailers are an all aluminum construction. So you got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market. And then you also have that, um, that standard half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And that roof's got an R3 thermal value on it, so a little more heat regulating, you know, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. It's just going to, you know, help out with the ease of the animals and hauling them around and keep it nice and cool in there for them. But right here, this is what I'm talking about with that ramp. We've got the ramp on that front section. This comes in handy big time if you're hauling, you know, a lot of cattle or if you're hauling sheep in the front, cattle in the back. I mean, there's a lot of different configurations you are able to do with having the use of this front ramp right here. So it comes in handy big time, really nice to have. Um, another thing, you can load your golf cart right in there if you want to take a golf cart and or take your four wheelers up to mountains. I mean, there's so many different options that you can do with having this trailer, it's so versatile. So over here on the hip side, we got our stock slats. So this is the plexiglass where that plexiglass holder in the tack room would end up going. So easiest way to do it, you've got little cutouts and you just gotta get between those two with the needle nose, it makes it super easy. 
get between it with the needle nose, pull that piece of plexiglass out, and then you just start shifting them all out. Best way to do it, take them out row by row, mark which row you took them out from. It's just gonna make it so much easier when it goes back to trying to put those back in and making sure that they're sitting flush and getting that airtight kind of seal to it. So make sure you have a roll of duct tape and a marker with you and when you take them out, roll that duct tape around and I would, me personally, I'd say hip side bottom rail, something like that, and hip side top. And, and it just makes it that much easier for you. So this trailer, you can tell they're using it for multiple uses. You can tell they're kind of using it for cattle with having the two ties, one up high and one down low. Um, they're gonna be on both sides of this trailer so you're able to tie high and then down low and get your, get your cattle out of the way or tie it low and then up high, um, be able to get it undone. But down below on this trailer, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. And then you've got your steel rims on this one. So one of the things we do here at TransWest when we get used trailers in, unless stated otherwise, we go through everything, put it through the shop. We're gonna go through, we check those brakes, we check those bearings. If they need to be replaced and repacked, we'll do so. Make sure that you're hauling straight, so we'll put an alignment on anything over 26 feet. Hauling straight, get you going straight and, you know, get it going good. And then go through all the lights, all your safety features, all your latches, your windows, all that, and make sure that this trailer is ready to haul down the road. You're ready to hit it, you know, you buy it from us, you're ready to go. Um, that's a nice little assurance that you get when you buy a used trailer from TransWest that we stick them through our shop and we figure out what to do. So like right here, you'll notice this trailer just came in, so it hasn't even been through the shop yet. So it's something we're gonna take a look at. This little ding right here, we're gonna you know, have our mechanics look at it and they will decide whether we need to replace that bottom rail or if we need to bend that out. I mean, they're gonna decide what the best plan of action is to make that back to how it should be. So right here on the rear, you've got your one big gate with your slider. So having that slider, you're able to back up to shoot, you know, get your cows on there easier. Um, just make it a heck of a lot easier. And then that slider shuts. You've got the plexiglass on both sides and those come out once again with those little cutouts right here. Just get a needle nose, be able to get that out. So this, if I have enough strength, um, shuts and then your gate opens. So get that over out of the way, you can, you can latch it back. That's the nice thing about these Cimarron's, everything's got a latch back. So that if you're by yourself, you don't have a, a door holder, gate holder, you're able to maneuver stuff and get it done without stuff shotting on you. So coming in here to the back, we've got the two LED lights up above, and those are operated right here, as well as your exterior light on the other side, and then your interior lights right here. So they're all operated with these switches right there. We've got worm flooring in this trailer. So the worm flooring, it's a non-porous material they put on the bottom of the floor. It's gonna cover all the aluminum, comes up the sides a little bit, and then they put a rubber composite over top. And what that does is prevent any kind of liquid from getting down to that aluminum floor. So that's gonna prevent any kind of urine, because um, if you do let urine, horse urine especially, sit on aluminum floors, it will start to eat and corrode at it. So you wanna make sure that you're either cleaning, you know, pulling mats at least twice a year, cleaning them out good, putting baking soda down, or you go and get warm flooring. You don't gotta worry about, about mats. You don't have to worry about pulling that out. All you do when you're done hauling, you know, if you've got shaving in, shavings in there, get those out, but scoop out your solids, spray it with the hose, and wherever it drains out, it drains out. So we rinse this out this morning, so it's draining down this back corner, and that's just gonna push it all down. So really nice of this worm flooring, and then, you know, easy upkeep, easy cleaning, just with that hose, some simple green, if it's starting to get a little musty or something, it just, it helps out big time, and it just makes life a heck of a lot easier. But coming inside here, we've got our center gate. So just your one center gate that'll open. Well, I guess it'll close and make it a 50-50 slot. So you can haul you know, two horses and two box stalls. You can haul two bulls, you can haul two cattle. Um, 
if you want to haul multiple horses tied, I mean, this is a 24 footer on the floor, fourth and front tack, you're sitting 20 feet of livestock area. You can fit quite a bit of horses in here, depending on how you load them. So really nice, be able to separate them off if you need to, load the four wheeler in the front, take the horses in the back, go on hunting, something like that. I mean, there's so many different versatile options with having this kind of trailer and this kind of setup that this is a, this is a one of a kind and you're not gonna see them very often. But inside here, we've got our lower tie rail and that goes all the way through into this front section. So lower tie rail and then in this front section up here, you do have the upper tie rail as well. So tie horses, tie cattle, whatever you need to do, whatever you're hauling with you. In the front up there, we've got the two roof vents. So two up there and then two in this middle section. And uh, those push forward and they push backwards. So you push them forward, they're gonna help suck that air in as you're moving. You push them backward, they'll help suck that air out, get that maximum airflow going through, get all the plexiglass out. Or if you just wanna get a little bit of airflow for your animals, if it's cold outside, you can get those open as well. I'll show this real quick. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, just basic, got the rest of it. So you got your plexiglass on the uppers and on the top side and the lower side. And then you got your two ties on each side. So this trailer, we've got it sitting at seven one tall. We are sitting at six feet, 10 inches wide on the floor length of 24 feet. And then we got an empty weight of 4,380 pounds. So this is a 2016 Cimarron Lone Star 24 footer stock combo. Um, yeah, like I said, this one just came in. We haven't even sent it through the shop. Um, so they're gonna take a look at it. They're gonna see what all needs to be done to it, do any kind of, you know, repairs or whatnot. We have a we call it a PDI or post delivery inspection check sheet that we go through and check on these trailers when they come in and make sure that they are they are good to go. So we've got this trailer hooked up to this truck right here. I don't know if you can see it, but very nice truck. Marlon's gonna be doing a video on that one, so make sure you watch that. Really nice truck. But like I said, 2016 Cibron Lone Star stock combo. We got stock number 5U211528. And that's 5U211528. And then I almost missed it because we got it hooked up, but this trailer is equipped with a hydraulic jack. So we've got our equalizer hydraulic jack right here, your little battery box, so the battery's in there. And then you do have your safety um, handle. It just came with one just in case. But really nice to have a hydraulic jack. Just makes life a heck of a lot easier, makes everything quicker, getting that on and off the truck. Um, and then as you're plugged into the truck, the truck's running, it'll help trickle charge that battery back up. So you're able to either run the lights while you're not plugged into anything, just your interior and exterior lights, or um, be able to get that jack up and down. But if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have on our lot, or on order coming in. If you're on our website, you'll see a lot of drawings on there. It's everything we've got on order coming in. So if something interests you, you want to know when we should be seeing it, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can call or text my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can shoot me an email at morgan, that's M-O-R-G-A-N, dot null k-n-o-l-l at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day